the 55 faceoffs in this game. Loose in the dot. Penguins take it away with Tang a huge clear. 50-50 puck battle. And Tanger wanted more than anybody else. Marcus Johansson with speed right back up ice. Wrist it in to He's going to go for it. It's knocked down in midair. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The entire building rose up. And I don't know who that was. If it was Boldy or Kaprizov, one of the Wild got their stick way up. I don't know if he jumped up in the air as the Delkovich went for it. He feels like, yeah. I had that baby. And what's this conversation for? The Delkovich felt like, oh man, I had the time, I had the leverage. You know, the Delkovich uses a real short stick and allows him to get a lot of leverage and a lot of oomph when he shoots the puck as a goaltender. You can see the whip on the stick and he airmails that up there. I think it is Boldy. I think Boldy jumped up in the air and the very tip of his stick flagged that thing down. As Carrick tries to pull it off that same right wing wall, but not with much success. Now he does draw it into the middle and he's joined on the rush by the Toronto. Fires it in purposely wide and pursues it himself. Game clock down to 90 seconds. Mo Sider protects the puck, and now there goes Reimer to the bench as soon as Wallman nudges it ahead to Larkin. Flips it in, it's gloved down by Dostal. He's going to shoot at the empty net. Oh, just wide. Hit the side of the net, and he's called for icing. Remember, Lucas Dostal scored a goal in the American League last year in a game against Colorado playing for the San Diego Gulls, and boy, has he got spot to try that in a one-goal game. Oh, my goodness. He got a lot on it, too. I mean, he elevates it over everyone and goes through the blue paint, but outside of